you know, when you, it's like a dolphin shape, you know, yeah. like, you know, with wings on it. Yeah. See a school in there? Looks like that fucking dodgy bastard. No idea. Keeps himself to himself though, doesn't he? Is, it, is he the one who used to live with his mum? Oh, oh shut up mate, never. Look at him, he's about 80, he's never lived with his mum that long. Yeah, uh, not right with him. Look at him. Right, fucking weirdo, isn't it? Mate, let me tell you right now, that's a fucking nonce, I've never seen one. Hey, back it in the pair of you. Larry's never done anything like that. Oh, Larry, is it? Oh, here's one for your fucking collection. <laughs> Money that. Sort him out. Well, Larry, he's only joking. Larry! Fuck off! Hey, the lovely man! Not a typical of you to pick on someone because he's a little different. Yeah, a little different, alright. You can see the difference in his wife looks. Stay with us. Mum! Billy keeps pulling my hair and teasing me. What's him then? Don't listen to your dad, he's being an idiot. Just ignore him, okay? You'll soon get bored. Okay, Mum. Are you alright? Emily's. It's not for me. No? I think you should go. You never know what happens. You might have a good time. Uh, I've got plenty to get on with, thank you. Alright, well, fair enough. Alright. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Alright, you take care, yeah? You too. See you later. Now let's have another look at the news headlines from around our region. Another child goes missing from the Harrogate area. Seven-year-old Sarah Lake last seen three days ago on her way home from school. A police spokesman. There we go. Short blonde hair and is wearing a dark blue school uniform. Hasn't been seen since she left school at 3:30 p.m. on Wednesday the 11th. Can't believe it. Another child's going missing. There's no Colton Matt spoke to him earlier. Please, please, please. It's alright, it's fun though. Please just, just wait for me. It's 
friendly. One, two, three, three, two, one. Danny, is he in Nah, she was around a minute ago. Well, I've seen her for a while. You can just check inside and just gonna look out here. She's around somewhere. Yeah, but please, just look inside, yeah? And the left! Yeah. <laughs> 
Mr. Johnson, I know you've been through a great ordeal, but uh, we're going to have to take a full statement. <laughs> Any more trouble? But, but sir, we're, we're seriously going to have to think about pressing I charges want... against these individuals. I won't, won't be left alone, please. Just leave me alone. <laughs> just leave but, me alone. But, sir. Please, just leave me alone. <laughs> Larry all right? Mr Johnson? He's, he's fine sir, he's inside resting. I saw you dropping him off earlier. Poor bugger. I saw him all shouting at him. Shouting at him? Yeah. I don't deserve it. It's horrible the way they treat people around here. Just because he's a bit, you know, different. Different? Yeah. You'd think they'd remember, wouldn't you? What he did. What do you mean by what he did, sir? You know, for his country, in Iraq. Right. That's how he got the way he is. Apparently he saved his whole platoon on his own. He ended up with medals. Met the Queen the works. And then they gave him a medical discharge. And he ended up here living with his mum. She died a few months back. It's not been the same since. Hardly spoken a word. Anyway, I'll... Uh, I'll pop round later and see if he's alright. Thank you, sir. I'm sure you'll appreciate that. Alright. Sarge. What? You're not going to believe it. That guy, he's a war hero. He's a what? He's a war hero. Almost killed himself trying to save his whole platoon in Iraq. And he doesn't want to press charges. Well, there's nothing we can do then, is there? Come on, let's get back to the station.
days ago on her way home from school. Wednesday the 11th.